Can you crack this SAT question? Yep. So the question is, if x plus n all squared is equal to x squared plus 19x plus n squared, what is the value of n squared? Now, this question is not actually as hard as it looks. So if you've studied quadratics for a little bit, you might know that a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. If you don't know that, that's also fine, uh, but now you know. And you might also notice that this equation is equal to, or looks very similar to the one we have in the question. So let's write the question right below. x plus n squared is equal to x squared plus 19x plus n squared. Now, it looks very similar. Uh, it seems like they're just replacing the a with the x and the b with the n. So let's make another um, version of this equation. Let's expand it just how we expanded it in the first equation. So we can say that x plus n squared is equal to x squared plus 2xn plus n squared. And now that we know that these two equations are equal to x plus n squared, we can just say that they're equal to each other. So let's write x squared plus 19x plus n squared is equal to x squared plus 2xn plus n squared. And now we can subtract x squared and n squared from both sides of the equation. So we'll just get rid of this, 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 and this, subtracting x squared and n squared from both sides of the equation. And then we just get 19x is equal to 2xn. Now let's divide both sides by x. That'll just get rid of the x on both sides. So we have 19 is equal to 2n. And if we divide both sides by 2, we get n is equal to 19 over 2. And that's our final answer, right? No, it's not. They're not asking for the value of n, they're asking for the value of n squared. So to get our final answer, we just need to square this number here. 19 squared is equal to 361. By the way, when you're squaring a fraction, you just multiply both sides. So you square the 19, and then you square the 2 and put it into a fraction, and that'll be your result. So 19 squared, you can put it into a calculator if you want. It's 361. So let's just put 19 over 2 squared is equal to 361. And then 2 squared is 4, so we have over 4. And that is our final answer to our question C.